in this lecture we are going to discuss the rules of national insurance contribution that is nic so nic is the uh, to be applicable both on employment income as well as on self employment income and nic is to be paid by both employer as well as employee now there are five types of nic that is uh, examinable and the first one is called the class 1 that is to be paid by employee and the second one is called class 1 that is to be paid by employer so both class 1 means one is it is to be paid by employee other is it is to be paid by employer and both are based on gross earnings so the definition of earning is same for both employer and employee class 1 nic and as far as class 1 a is concerned and that class 1 a is the responsibility of employer and it is also based on the earnings so what is the definition of earnings different is it different for class 1 and class 1 a yes the definition of earning is different as far as class 2 is concerned and class 4 is concerned it is to be paid by a self employed person both is to be paid by a self employed tax payer so there are five types of nic class 1 and class a based on employment in class 2 and class 4 based on self employment now these uh, rates tax sheet will be provided to you in the exam you can see that there are different rates if you see that as far as class 1 is concerned so class 1 employee so up to 8632 pounds there is no nic to be payable that is it's 0% but if the earning exceeds from 8632 and up till 50000 the rate is 12% per annum and if the earning is in addition to 50000 and above then the rate would be 2% and as far as class 1 employer is concerned the threshold is the same as far as the 8632 is concerned 0% but above than that there is 13.8% per annum and there is an employment allowance of 3000 so that means the employer one employer class one nic you can deduct 3000 from your nic liability now class 1a is a flat 13.8% and it is applicable on non cash benefits as far as class 2 is concerned it is 3 pound per week and usually we have 52 weeks in a tax year so it's a flat payment but this is this is a this is based on a small earning exemption limit so those business having profit uh, up to 6365 they this this nic is not applicable on them as far as class 4 nic is concerned again the rates and the rates are similar to and the earning is rate threshold is similar to class 1 employee that is up to 8632 the rate is 0% above then the rate is 9% and excess of 50000 the rate is 2% so on the basis of that let's discuss each nic one by one so as far as the class 1 employee nic is concerned the contribution is to be begin by the employee when the employee age is 16 or over for 2019 and 20 the rate of employee class 1 nic is at 12% it is paid where cash earnings exceed a threshold of 8632 per annum but only up to the limit of 50000 however for earning above 50000 there is a rate of 2% payable with no limit and the contribution ceases when the employee reaches pensionable age which is usually 50 6 years now as far as class 1 employer is concerned the rate of class 1 nic is 13.8% and again it is paid on cash earnings that exceeds a threshold of 8632 per annum these are payable from the employee's 16th birthday 
but there is no upper age limit definition of earning is very important so any remuneration that is derived from employment paid in cash or readily converted into cash it's fall in the definition of earning an earning must be taken as the gross earnings without any kind of deductions as far as the dividends are concerned dividends are not subject to nic even if they are drawn by a director or shareholder in place of a monthly salary now which item will not be part of uh, the gross earning most taxable non cash benefits except for remuneration received in the form of financial instrument readily convertible assets and non cash vouchers tips directly received from customers mileage allowance received from employer provided it does not exceed the hmrc approved mileage allowance rate of 45p this excess is subject to class 1 nic expense paid for or reimbursed by the employer for which an income tax deduction would be available so these are the benefits uh, which will not be covered under gross earnings now moving forward as far as the employment allowance is concerned the employment allowance is available in case of class 1 employer nic so this allowance is 3000 per annum and uh, this can be deducted from the class 1 nic payable by employer but this allowance is not available to companies where a director is the sole employee so if a director is there there is an only one director in the company then this 3000 uh, deduction limit is not applicable now as far as the class 1a nic is concerned this class 1a is payable by employer only on taxable benefits provided to employee and the rate is 13.8% multiply by the assessable value of benefits so these taxable benefits as far as the taxable benefits are concerned are non cash taxable benefits such as car benefits fuel benefits living accommodation beneficial loan etc etc but as far as the exempt benefits are concerned there will be no nic rather 1 or 1a now let's move to a bit basic calculation of class 1 employer and class 1 employee so for example we can assume that we have uh, an employee or rather you can say that uh, assuming there is an employee who is getting salary and salary is 49000 per annum and uh, there is a company car and that company car is uh, worth 5000 and it's assumed to be a taxable benefit so no need to work out the calculation which is already there and uh, vouchers for local gym voucher comes in the definition of earnings for class 1 calculate relevant nic so we have to identify first that uh, what is the gross earnings so 
as far as the gross earning is concerned you can say that uh, for class 1 purpose we have uh, salary cash earnings 49000 and we have vouchers so 2000 so total earnings is 51000 now on that 51000 the employee nic we have to calculate the employee nic so the employee class 1 so up to 8632 it's zero and uh, in addition to that up to 50000 minus 8632 the rate is 12% per annum and in addition to this as the benefit is 51000 so in addition to that the percentage is 2% and that is 20 so the total nic that is due on employee is 4984 now as far as employer is concerned so employer class 1 so up to 8632 the rate is 0% and in excess of that there is a rate of 13.8% so the value is 5847 so the employer has to pay 5847 now as far as the class 1a nic is concerned so in case of class 1 nic so here we have uh, the taxable benefits that is received so car benefits so it's a non cash benefits before that you can see that the employer class 1 so we have to deduct the employment allowance as well so final liability we have to reduce this by the uh, help of 3000 this is a deduction so 2847 as far as class car benefit is concerned class 1a if it is a non cash benefit so we have uh, the value that is 5000 taxable benefit so 5000 multiplied by 13.8 percentage and uh, this will give us a figure of 690 another question for example we have uh, an employee that is getting some benefits and uh, an annual salary of uh, 53000 plus a company car having list price of 15000 and the list price is uh, 15000 and co2 is 128 g per km assuming it's a petrol powered motor car and uh, fuel was also provided for both private and business purpose 
calculate relevant n i c in this way we we have to identify first of all the gross earnings on which we have to calculate class 1 employee class 1 employer and then we have to calculate class 1a so let's find out the gross earnings so in this way we have gross earnings of uh, salary is part of gross earnings that is 53000 and other than that we have no benefits let's also find out the earning that is non cash benefits so non cash benefits for class 1 a purpose and that is first of all the taxable car benefits for which the rule is that identify the list price multiply by the appropriate percentage so the appropriate percentage is based on co2 and the car co2 was 128 g per kilometer so the basic rate up to 95 g per kilometer was 23% and uh, other than that we have uh, the plus element that is 125 minus 95 divided by 5 and that comes out to be 6 percentage and that is 29 percentage and then you'll apply the list price list price was 15000 so the car benefit is 15000 multiplied by 29 percentage and the car benefit total is 4350 as far as the fuel is concerned so the rule of fuel benefit is that a base value is given in the tax sheet so the base value multiply the by the appropriate percentage the base value that is uh, for this tax year is 24100 multiply the appropriate percentage which is the same as that we use for the car and this is 6989 so total benefit for class 1 a is 11339 now we have gross earnings and we have non cash benefits so let's calculate the class 1 employee nic so up to 8632 the rate is 0% difference between 50000 and 8632 above than that we have 12% and the excess of 50000 above 50000 we have 2% So now class one employer definition will remain the same up to eight six three two it's zero percent and the excess eight six three two multiply by the rate that is thirteen point eight percent and uh, that becomes six one two. and from which you can deduct employment allowance and that is 3000 so the liability is 3123 class 1a is also the responsibility of employer but there is no deduction so it is based on the taxable non cash benefits its non cash 
taxable benefits that we have calculated above and that is uh, 11339 and the rate is 13.8% so the NIC is One five six. So, on the basis of uh, the text.